So this question starts off by providing us with a system of equations. It looks like we can simplify this first equation. So I'm gonna start off by doing that. And I'm gonna make sure that I keep it in the same format as the second equation, which is basically a y value, then constant, then my x value. So in order to do that, I am going to subtract 48y from both sides so that my y values are on the left. And then I'm also going to subtract 48x from both sides so that my x value goes over to the right. So up in the first equation here, my x's are gone on the left-hand side. Negative 64 minus 48 is 112 or negative 112. So this becomes negative 112y. And then the 48y and negative 48y cancel out over here. And again, I want my number next. So I'll have uh, equals 24 minus 48x. Okay, and I'm going to line up my second equation right below it with ry equals 1 eighth minus 12x. Okay, so let's read the question to see what, the, what it wants us to do. So it says, in the given system of equations, r is a constant. If the system has no solution, what is the value of r? So in order for a system to have no solution, it means that both x and y cancel, right? And really uncontrollably. It means when I try to cancel out one, the other one automatically cancels out. Like I cannot not cancel one of them, right? By canceling x, y is also gone. If I focus on canceling y out, X is also gone. Um, the second rule here for no solution is the, the remainder, what's left over after canceling out the X and Y, is not true. So remainder is not true. So let's deal with the first step here, canceling out. Well, how would I cancel out the Ys? I don't necessarily know. Like if I just said R was equal to 112, that would do it. Um, but then it wouldn't do it for the X term automatically. So I'm going to deal with the X term first. And the way that I could get the X terms to cancel out, again, right now I have negative 48X and negative 12X. The way I'd get those to cancel out by adding these two equations together would be to multiply the bottom equation by negative 4. Because by multiplying by negative 4, let's go down here for more space, I'd have negative 112y equals 24 minus 48x as my first equation. But my second equation would then become negative 4ry equals negative 1 half, because negative 4 times 1 eighth would be negative 1 half, and then plus 48x. And now when I add these together, my x's will cross out. And basically what this first step is saying, that by crossing, by doing what it takes to cross the x's out, these must also cross out. Well, how would a negative 112 and a negative 4r cross out? Well, they would have to be, they'd have to be um, opposite signs in equal quantities. So I'd say that negative 4r would actually need to equal positive 112, right? Because if it were positive 112, then it would cancel out the negative 112. So that's really all that matters here. So I'm going to now divide by negative 4. And what I get is that r is equal to 112 divided by negative 4, which is negative 28. So r has to equal negative 28 in order to make that y term cancel out. So there's my answer. And when that cancels out, of course, I'm left with 0 equals 24 minus a half, which is just, what, like 23 and a half, which is not true, right? That's, that's the second half here. The remainder is not true. 0 does not equal 23 and a half. So that just confirms that my answer is correct. So negative 28 is the correct answer to this question.